everyone, I hope you're all doing well. So I'm here with the finale for the products I used up in 2018. At the beginning of the year, I had picked out 50 total items, 30 of them were makeup and 20 were skincare that I wanted to try to use up during the year. I've been doing quarterly updates where I show the empties from that quarter and today is the finale video. So I'll start off with my quarterly updates. So for the makeup items in the past three months, I've managed to finish off six additional makeup items. So what I finished off were some eyeshadows um, and then some other stuff for my Project 10 Pan. So I had for this year three um, eyeshadow shades from my Urban Decay Naked 2 palette I wanted to finish off. And in the third quarter of the year, I had finished off the shades Foxy, which is right here. This was like a matte sort of creamy yellow shade. I also used up um, YDK, which was like a metallic taupey shade. So those are two of the items I finished off in the last three months. I also finished off from the bomb, the Mary Luminizer. This is like a little size of their like highlighter. I also use this as the eyeshadow, just this like perfect eyeshadow size. So I used up those three items. And then also for my Project 10 pan, I used up the NARS Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base. I used up from Makeup Forever, the um, transparent um, brow gel, and I used up the Buxom Full On Lip Cream in the shade Berry Blast. So these six items I used up over the past three months. Um, so in total, for the end of the year, I had 30 makeup items that I wanted to use up, and I used up 23 of them. I'll quickly go over the remaining makeup items I had used up during the year. Um, so from Too Faced, I had used up the Hangover RX Replenishing Face Primer. I also used up another Too Faced primer. This is the Prime in Peachy Cooling Matte Skin um, Perfecting Primer. From Hourglass, I had used up the Veil Mineral Primer. From Makeup Forever, I'd used up the Matte Velvet Plus Mattifying Foundation. From Dr. Jart, I had used up the Radiance BB Beauty Balm. From Yada, I'd used up the Silky Fit Concealer BB. From Physicians Formula, I had used up the Mineral Wear Talc Free Mineral Airbrushing Press Powder SPF 30. It's a broken um, packaging, but very long name, but it was just a press powder with SPF. From Laura Mercier, I had used up the Translucent Loose Setting Powder. Then I used up some setting sprays from Cover FX. I had used up the Illuminating Setting Spray. Um, from Smashbox, I had used up the Photo Finish Primer Water. And then on to some eye products. From NYX, I had used up a Jumbo Eye Pencil in the shade Yogurt. From Mally, I had used up, I don't remember the full name of this eyeliner, but it was an eyeliner in the shade Milk Chocolate. And the end of the product is stuck in the cap, but that was a brown eyeliner that I used up at the beginning of the year. Um, so I think that was all for the eye products besides the like eyeshadows. Oh, actually, from my Urban Decay Naked 2 palette, besides the two that I used up in the third quarter of the year, I had also used up early in the year the shade Suspect, which is right here. It was like a kind of shimmery, sort of brown shade, like medium shade. So I used up the shade Suspect. Um, and then, as I already mentioned, I used up the Mary Luminizer. Um, the NARS Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base that I had already mentioned that I used up in the third quarter, the Makeup Forever Brow Gel, and then I used up some lip products. So I'm dropping everything. There's like a lot of stuff in front of me, but in addition to this Buxom um, Full on Lip Cream, I had also used up the Benefit Sugar Balm um, Ultra Plush Lip Gloss. So that's finished off, and then I had used up two little Amuse Bouche lipsticks from Bite Beauty. I had used up the shade Pepper, which I dug out some of the product, but it's kind of a nice like red, muted red type of shade. And also the shade Honeycomb, which is like a nude sort of shade. And I had finally used up from Fresh the Sugar Lip Treatment in the shade 
honey. It's like also kind of a nude warm shade. So that is all of the makeup items I had used up in this project. So as I had said, I had 30 items I had picked out at the beginning of the year to use up. Um, and I ended up using up 23 of them or 77%. So I'm pretty happy with that. I mean, I didn't use up everything, but I think it's really hard to gauge at the beginning of the year, like exactly what you're gonna use up. And I have used up other makeup items that weren't in this project. So I'm happy overall with all the makeup I used up during the year. So I do have seven items I wasn't able to finish. And these will all be stuff I'll be working on in 2019. I haven't decided yet if I'm going to do this specific project again in 2019. I'm kind of leaning to not. I've done this for a few years, but it's just hard to know like what I'm going to finish up um, in like a year's time. So I probably won't be doing this project again, but I will be working on um, the makeup items at least in projects in 2019. So what I still um, have left is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I'm almost finished with this, but not quite done yet. I also have the Josie Moran, Josie Moran Coconut Water Cheek Gelé Blush. We'll still work on this in 2019. Really want to get that finished off. I also have the Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush in Exposed. I was able to use up a good amount of this, but still um, we'll be working on it in 2019. I have the Benefit What's Up um, Highlighter, like Cream Highlighter. Um, I really hope I can make more progress on this in 2019. This is one I wasn't using super consistently this past year, but that's what I have left of that. I also have the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Duality, the double-sided cream, um, like, eyeshadow stick thing. So, really hope I can finish this off in 2019. Um, and then I have my liner, which... Eyeliners, especially pencil liners, take me a long time to get through, so I wasn't really expecting to be able to fully finish this, but I am happy that I was able to make a good amount of progress on it. So this is the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Pencil in the shade Desperation. So hopefully I can finish that off in 2019. Then I also have a little lip product left. This is the Sephora Collection Oil Infusion in the shade Bubbly Grenadine. I was able to use up a good amount of it, but I was just focusing more on other lip products throughout 2018 to use up, so I still have some of this left, and I'm really hopeful I can use this up in the first part of 2019. So that's all the makeup um, update, and then skincare is the other category. So for this category, I had 20 items. Um, in the last quarter of the year, I was able to use up three items from this project. So one of my goals was to use up all of my sheet masks and also my Tarte like under eye patches. So I got more sheet masks throughout the year, but I was specifically focusing on the ones that I had gotten or had at the beginning of 2018. And I did use up all my sheet masks. I have a bunch of them here. I'm not sure if all of these were from like at the beginning of the year or what, but I did use up a bunch of sheet masks. I basically had like one a month to use. So that was really fun to use up. So that I did. I also used up a little mask. This is the Glam Glow um, Super Mud Clearing Treatment. It was like a deluxe size of it, which I used up in the last quarter of the year. And I also used up from Belief the Moisturizing and Firming Eye Cream. So those are the three skincare items I used up in the last quarter of the year. So by the end of the year, of the 20 items, I used up 13 of them or 65%. So didn't do as well with the skincare as the makeup in terms of percentages, but I'm still happy with what I used up and I definitely kind of learned some things as far as like making expectations for how quickly I'll go through things. But I'll quickly go over what I had used up for my previous updates. So I had from L'Oreal the Pure Clay Mask, which I used up earlier in the year. I also have from Bosha the Luminizing Black Mask. I actually had two of these in this project, so one I used up completely, the other one I didn't even open. So I've kind of learned to not like double up on products in projects, like just stick to one at a time, but used up one completely, didn't use up the other one. Um, also for mask, I used up the Tata Harper Resurfacing Mask, just a little deluxe size. Um, and then I have some Drunk Elephant products that I used up. 
These ones were relatively easy because they were products I was using pretty much on a daily basis. So anything like that in terms of skincare especially, I feel like it's pretty easy to go through. Um, so I have the Drunk Elephant Sea Firma Day Serum. Um, also the Drunk Elephant um, TLC from Boost um, Glycolic Night Serum. I have the Drunk Elephant B Hydra Intensive Hydration Gel. Um, and the Virgin Marula Luxury Facial Oil. This is another item where I have two of them in the project. One I've used up and then the other one. I'm pretty close to having this finished off, I think, but I haven't quite used up this one yet. So again, having two of the same thing might not always be the best for these projects. But I did use up this one. And then I have some moisturizers that I used up. Um, so I had the Belief, the True Cream Aqua Balm. So this is like my daytime moisturizer, which I really enjoyed. And then for a night um, cream, I have the Corez Wild Rose Advanced Brightening Sleeping Facial. This is really nice. It smells like roses, um, so I used that up. And then the one item that I had dropped earlier was actually a fresh product. It was the Fresh Soy Face Cleanser. So I had also used this up during the year. So those are all of the um, skincare items that I use up in this project, and I'll share what I'm still working on. So in this project, I think I had eight masks plus the sheet masks, though it's just a lot of masks. I think it was a little too much because I used up about half of them. So I have four masks that I still haven't finished off yet. So I have, of course, the Bosha Luminizing Black Mask, which I didn't even work on at all. Um, I have the Dr. Brandt. This is the Magnetite Age Defier. I still have it in the box because it's like a mag magnetic mask you remove it with a little magnet this is more gimmicky than useful for me it's fun to use I don't see that I get a ton of results with it but I have only used this a handful of times so still have this one to try to work through I do want to use it up but um, I didn't get a ton of use out of it this year this mask from Ren it's ever clear it's an ultra comp comforting rescue mask. I did make a good amount of progress on it. I only have a few applications this left. So hopefully early 2019, I'll be able to get through this one. And then I also have another Bosha mask. This one I also really like. This is the charcoal pore pudding. This one's kind of fun too, because it has um, the swirls of the black and white mask and you kind of mix them together to like a gray. So it's kind of fun on the face, but I also feel like it's a good sort of charcoal um, like clay masks so I do think it has good benefits as well but I still have this left to use up so those are the four masks um, I also got some masks throughout the year so it was just kind of a lot to try to finish up everything so I never try to like force myself to work through something I didn't really love um, and then other products I'm still working on and I have the other um, of the drunk elephant the virgin marula facial oil so Still working on this one. I don't use facial oils every day, so I'll definitely use this up fairly soon, but I didn't get it finished in this project. And then the last two items are both awesome, um, from Fresh. They're both um, like polishes. One's a face polish, like a brown sugar like face polish, and the other one's a lip scrub. So these like lip scrubs I use occasionally. I should use it more often, um, but I just never got into a good habit of using this on a routine basis. And the sugar face polish I also never use very routinely. I kind of forgot about these items, honestly. So we'll see how I'm able to get through them in 2019 or how if I'm able to more incorporate them into my routine. But that is everything for this update. So overall, I had 50 items I wanted to try to finish up. I ended up getting through 36 of them or 72 percent so I think that's good I mean it's just really hard to know at the beginning of the year what you're going to finish up um, but I feel like I was able to make a good amount of progress on the items and I know the stuff that I didn't use up I kind of learned like oh maybe I was a little too ambitious with like some of the skincare and the makeup it's just kind of hard to know sometimes stuff might take more than a year to finish off so I'm happy with the update. As I said, I don't know if I'll be doing this again for 2019, but I did enjoy these videos and I hope you guys enjoyed the finale and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.